we provide multiple methods to search the rice genome, including by annotation, protein domain and motif, and sequence similarity. Let's start with sequence similarity. On the BLAST page, you can perform searches of 27 different databases. Select the type of BLAST search you wish to do, and enter your sequence in FASTA format, or upload the sequence from a file. Choose the database you wish to search, and modify any search parameters as needed. When you select Submit, a temporary page will appear until your search is completed. On the BLAST report page, you will see the accession, putative description, and alignment statistics. On the putative function search page, we can search the functional annotation of the rice genes. Let's try aquaporin and expressed. This will give us only aquaporin genes that have experimental expression support. 34 genes in the rice genome are annotated with aquaporin and are expressed. Selecting the locus name will load the gene report page for that locus. The locus identifier search page allows you to insert your locus identifier in the search box and select search. The gene report page will load and you can view the sequence and annotation of this locus. Links to the sequence and genome browser are also provided at the top. You can search our annotation for PFAM domains and Interpro protein families, domains, and functional sites. For the PFAM search, you can input either a PFAM profile identifier or Use a text search of PFAM domains. Alternatively, you can find the domains on a per-gene model basis by inputting a locus ID. You can search our annotation for motifs predicted by TMHMM, Signal P, and Predator. Select the chromosome and motif prediction program to get the output. We have annotated our loci with gene ontologies, specifically the plant ghost limb, which are a higher level of annotation. You can find the ghost limb annotation associated with a gene model or locus by inputting the locus or feet name. The output is the chromosome, locus ID, putative function of the locus, ghost limb ID, go name, and type of go term. The locus ID is linked to the gene report page, and the ghost limb identifier is linked to the gene ontology report for the GO term. Or, you can find all of the loci associated with a plant ghost limb by inserting a GO identifier. To link locus identifiers and feature identifiers between releases of our annotation, Enter the feet name or locus ID in the box. Information on the locus across all releases is provided. In the current release, the transcript unit, gene model, and locus are all hyperlinked to the gene report page. Some loci are deprecated and are no longer in our current annotation and are thus obsolete. You can get a full listing of obsolete loci on a per-chromosome basis by using the radio buttons and selecting Submit. The chromosome, locus ID, and coordinates on the pseudomolecule are all, all listed. A link to the region in the genome browser is provided. Alternatively, you can select a locus to see if it is obsolete. 